guys and today we're doing January favourites. Yes, I have cold once again so I apologise that I sound quite... It's just... it's winter. January favourites today. I haven't done favourites in a while so we're going to crack on. I haven't got too many so we're just going to see how many we can get through. So I have got two skincare. And the first one is this tiny, tiny little sample that I got in Birchbox. This is the Benefit Puff Out Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffies. I got this in a Birchbox. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. It's amazing. I love it. And I think that it's going to help me get rid of the bags and the darkness under my eyes is going to get a thumbs up in my opinion. But this stuff is amazing. It's, it's tinted, I think. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if you can see. It is definitely just a tiny, tiny bit tinted peach. Sheldon, don't open the door too far. It's tinted just that little bit of a peach colour. If you've used... The Benefit That Girl Primer or the Maybelline Peach Apricotty Primer, it's the same colour as that, so it feels like it's kind of concealing any redness or brown or dark patches, but it smooths everything. Everything just looks really nice and it's so tiny. I really, really like it. I may purchase the full size of this, which for me to say, Sheldon, no, no. For me to say I'm going to purchase a full full size benefit product, it must be really good. The next one I'm going to get mixed reviews about. I know already. I'm going to do a full review on this because it is freaking amazing. This is the C&L Multi Purpose Cream. I bought this in South Africa. It is face cream made with crocodile oil. Just let's just say it, it's got animal products in it and I don't, I know, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, but it is hands down the best thing I have ever used, skincare. It's incredible. I'm going to do a full review, so stay tuned for this month, I'm going to do a full review, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, just know that I wish that I had bought all of these on the shelf while we were in South Africa because it is so damn expensive in this country. I love it. Makeup, there have been two products that I have been reaching for this month. They are the same brand and the same product, just different colours. Oh dear, I dropped them. They are the Rimmel Kate Moss Matte Lipsticks. I love them. I did a full review on these. If I can find it, I will link it in the description bar. I've been wearing these non-stop. I've got it in Kiss of Life and um, Rouge? I don't know. 111 and 107. This is a red one, this is a purple one. I've said it. I've done a full review. I did some good and bad points about them, but I've been wearing the hell out of them this month. The, the, the colour is really good. They are a little bit drying. This red one dries quite. It's, you can feel it sort of drying and setting in the, the lines in your lips, so it's not the best. But the colour wise and stay in power are amazing. I love them. I want to purchase some more. I'm actually wearing another one right now in pink. I don't know what that one's called, but I've been reaching for these a lot. I definitely want to buy more when they go on sale. I wanted to talk about this product, even though I haven't used it. How it can be a monthly favourite? I don't know. I wanted to talk about it just because I wanted to tell you about it because it's amazing, even though I haven't used it at the moment. Basically, these are the L. Erickson Grab and Go Pony Bubbles. There's a whole tube of them. I ordered these before I chopped all my hair off because I had one that I got in my birch box and loved it. It's actually around my wrist right now. This is the one I got in my birch box. So when I got back from being away, because they were out of stock before I went away, I ordered these off birch box with birch box points. They are the best bubbles I have ever used in my life. They don't snag, they don't pull, they don't kink your hair and they are so strong. So I've had this one for months now 
and look it's perfect it's fine there's nothing wrong with it it's not stretched it's not if you've got long hair they are brilliant to put your hair up in a bun that's what I've used what I what I used to use them for was to put my hair in a bun and it would just stay all day in place with just one bubble so I actually ordered two of these and I can't use them because I chopped my hair off but if I hadn't chopped my hair off they would have been a monthly favourite so that's why I put them in they are amazing they're only 11 pounds on Birchbox no shall they my last four things are random things the first one I am wearing and it is my Fitbit oh look I have the box here Sheldon stop bumping and thumping it's my Fitbit this is a Fitbit Flex I think yeah Fitbit Flex I've got this at the very beginning of January so I've had it for a whole month now and I absolutely love it it is amazing this is what it looks like I've got it in a different wristband at the moment I, I, what are you doing I bought it in pink because it was all they had in stock but I knew I was going to go and buy lots of different wristbands and I love it I know it, they're not for everybody but I love like watching it and being like ooh is it lighting up I've got uh, two four just over six thousand steps i've done today so it's, it's it's awesome it tracks your steps it tracks your active minutes it tracks your sleep which is my favorite part of it it's so good it's so interesting to see how you've slept overnight they say it's waterproof haven't tried it because some people some other people say it hasn't so far this past month i have loved it i really like i've nearly done my ten thousand steps quick i love it so good i don't know what i did before having it you can also track your calorie intake as well but i don't count calories so i haven't done that but you can do that too on random things oh i've got a box here as well this is a very exciting one i was just going to show you but i've got the box still um this is so cool they're amazing love them oh uh, beats beats solo 2 headphones Oh my god, I got these again at the beginning of January and I just love them. Let's put the box back because I actually have them here. They are wired ones. I absolutely love them. You know me for my music. It's my escape from life and to have some amazingly good headphones. When I put these on, I can't hear anything. But it's not that sort of loud, this is too loud, because they're like these big clunky ones and not in-ear ones. So you can have it really, really loud and it not hurt your ears, which is good. You probably shouldn't have it that loud, but I like to have it that loud. I love them. Even having them like this, it feels weird. And the wire comes out and they fold down and I've got a little bag downstairs and I use these every single day. As you know, I listen to music when I get ready in the morning. So I've used these every single day. I use them at the gym for the first time this morning because I started running again this morning and they stayed on really well. I thought, you know, they might shake a little but they're so tight, they like suction to your ears. Love them, amazing. Really, really random thing now. Once again, something that we bought in South Africa and these are, this is the O2 to go bottle. That's all it's called. I think here in England, they're like bubble. Bubble, bumble, bubble, bumble, bubble. I think they're like bubble things. I don't know. It's basically just a normal water bottle. But it comes, this bit right here, shake it off, is a water filter. So you can just put plain tap water in it. And then when you drink it, it goes through the filter and you get straight filtered, fresh filtered, what would be more like bottled water. And it's so good and you can just keep refilling it and you can refill it no matter where you go and you don't have to be worried because i know sometimes you like you oh, don't really want to drink the tap water from there it doesn't matter because it's all getting filtered straight away we're, we're saving a fortune not buying bottled water refill this a couple of times a day and i'm good and i'm getting all my water and i'm saving money and i'm saving the earth by not using bottles last thing once again something i bought in south africa i know there's a bit of a theme isn't there this one is 
I love it so much. I did film a whole video of all this stuff, but I lost the footage somewhere between my camera and my computer and I was too lazy to re-record it. But this is one of the things I bought in South Africa and it is a notebook, of course, and it's thoughts and reflections, a line a day, three years. This is a three year diary. I have wanted one of these for a long time. But every time I looked at them, I was like, oh, I don't really like that one. That one doesn't look right. You know what I'm like with notebooks? They've got to be right. And I found this one. And it's so pretty. And I love, you know, I like these watercolours, like, splodges. And it basically just looks like this. So let's pick today, shall we? I'm actually filming this on the 1st of February. So here is the 1st of February. And it says, what did you dream about last night? And you have three different sections. So obviously... 2016, 17 and 18 and it goes through what is your favourite website at the moment and it's got lots of different questions the last movie you saw was and every year on the same day <clears throat> every year on the same day you answer the same question and it just it, for three years and I actually completed all of January I didn't think I was going to do it but I did every single night I've made sure to write in it and I love it I love how it's really simple and at the end of the year, it's going to be really fun to read back through everything and then do it again for another year and another year. And then in three years time, it will all be complete. And it's just going to be such a lovely thing. Oh my God. It's going to be such a lovely thing and a lovely keepsake to just, I really like it. I said that was the last thing, but I lied. I actually have a recommendation for this month and I am very, very far behind on this recommendation. It is a book or a film depending on what you want to do. I'm very, very far behind in this and I have probably already all seen it and already all read it, but I have start, I have recently started reading the Divergent series and I know it came out a long time ago and there was a whole big thing when it first came out, but I just never read it. On the flight back from South Africa, they had Divergent and Insurgent on the plane. I never watched them, I thought, I'll just watch them, there's nothing else to watch amazing and as my brain automatically goes I've got these books at home I knew I had them on my e-reader I just never read them if the film is this good the book is going to be incredible because I'm very much you know if the film based on the book is really good the book is going to be out of this world and it is amazing I'm almost at the end of Insurgents so I haven't finished them all yet the first book is incredible the second book is incredible I haven't finished it but every spare second I get, I'm like, read, 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 read. Love them. Highly recommend if you like... <sighs> What's it like? I don't even know how to explain to you what it's like. It's just, it's really, really good. I love it. It's something different and it's so easy to read. I love easy reading books. Like, I can just sit and get completely lost in it with, like, no effort. Really good. If you haven't read the books or you haven't watched the film or one or the other I recommend doing both films really good books really good that is my recommendation <laughs> and that is it for my monthly favorites video make sure that you thumbs up and that you subscribe and I'll see you next time